Meghan Markle had just one word to say about her first meeting with Kate, Princess of Wales in 2017, when the pair were introduced at a private dinner one year into her relationship with Prince Harry. The couple went on their first date to London's exclusive Soho house in 2016, before announcing their engagement over a year later with a photo call at Kensington Palace. Tune into our Royal Family Snapchat show, every Monday exclusively on Snapchat speaking to the BBC's Michelle Hussein after their engagement, Meghan and Harry shared the details on her first meeting with Kate at dinner. Speaking at the time, Harry said, It was exciting I mean I've, you know I'd been seeing her for a period of time when I literally didn't tell anybody at all. And then William was longing to meet her and so was Catherine, so you know, being our neighbors, we managed to get that in a couple of, well quite a few times now and Catherine has been absolutely. Meghan then chipped in with a one-word answer, wonderful. Prince Harry could have his visa revoked after admitting to using drugs Prince Harry could see his visa revoked after admitting to using drugs in a televised therapy session, Piers Morgan pointed out. Speaking to famed therapist Dr. Gabor Mate for his program The Myth of Normal, Trauma, Illness, and Healing in a Toxic Culture, Prince Harry said he started using drugs after realizing they helped him cope with his trauma. But Morgan noted U.S. officials take a dim view of drug use by non-U.S. citizens. Find out more here. She said the royals had warmly welcomed her and also recalled her first time meeting the late Queen Elizabeth. Meghan said, I think, you know, to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother, all of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her I had such a deep understanding and of course incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And we've had a really, she's, she's an incredible woman. Relations between the Sussexes and the rest of the firm are now a lot more strained, after Harry and Meghan stepped down from their royal duties in 2020 and moved to California. They are now raising their two children Archie and Lilibet in their Montecito mansion. Their daughter is named after the late Queen, whose nickname when she was a young girl was Lilibet. Author Tom Quinn said in his book Gilded Youth, an intimate history of growing up in the royal family that Lilibet's naming was always intended to be a compliment to Her Majesty. Don't miss! George and Charlotte's favorite Disney films laid bare by Mum Kate, latest, Harry faces exile as he sabotages William Bond says Lady Victoria, spotlight, Harry and Meghan's Frogmore eviction will only make things worse, insight, he wrote, Meghan and Harry's second child, a daughter, was born in Santa Barbara, California, on June 4, 2021. Even naming this child sparked a diplomatic scuffle. Hating even to think about the admittedly labyrinthine rules of protocol that surrounded the British royal family, Meghan and Harry called her Lilibet, apparently in the belief that it would be a wonderful surprise for her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth. However, Mr. Quinn claimed that some could have seen the naming as a cynical attempt to cash in on their royal currency. Royal biographer Giles Brandreth said that Her Majesty would have been touched by the gesture, 